So my friend Mike asked me to do a tutorial on an effect where you hover over a square region and a background photo zooms up while your mouse is over it. So I'm starting out in Sketch. I'm going to do this layout, and then I'm going to bring it into Flinto for Mac and prototype the interaction. So this is going to be like an aquarium website. I'm just going to put a title here. Then I'm going to put a couple of squares. And inside each of these squares, I'm going to change the fill to an image fill. And what you can do with an image fill, this is a good trick in Sketch, is set the image to a large photo that you have. And that makes it um, easy to crop it because if you want to change the size or something, it's just filling that square and you don't have to try and recrop the original. So I've got one other photo for this one. I'll drag that in. And what I'm going to do is put text over the top of these. So I've just duplicated that title text and I'm going to change it to be white. And I'll just say this is like current exhibits. So these are like big buttons that are kind of enticing to click on because they have this, or well, they will have this cool effect. I'll call this uh, upcoming events. And it's a little hard to read the text on top of these photos. What I'm going to do is add an additional fill on each of these. That'll be a solid, uh, solid black with a small opacity so that they're a little bit subdued. Now I'm going to make the text layers have the same name. I'm going to call it title. I'll select the other one, command R, type title. And the photo in the background, I'm just going to call it photo. I'll call the other one photo. And then I'm going to group these and I'll call this square. I'll group the other one and I'll call it square two. Okay, then maybe I should have like one other item over here. Uh, I'll make this black and I'll say like visit us. Okay, just adding a few things to make this layout a little bit more realistic. Maybe this text should be black. Okay, so I'm happy with this layout. I'm going to go to the plugins menu and use the send to Flinto sketch plugin to send this over to Flinto. All right, inside of Flinto, I can start creating the animation that I want. I want these photo layers to be masked because they're going to scale up, but I don't want to see the photo increase in size. I want it to be clipped off. So that photo layer, I'm going to put it in a group. So I'll click group in the toolbar. And then under group options in the inspector, I'm going to turn on clip. Now that would let me scale up the photo, but still have it be clipped by the group. So I'll do that to the other one, put a group around it, turn on clip, and that's all I need to do. Okay, so let's create the animation. I'm going to select the first one and click behavior. Now in the behavior designer, I'm going to create a new state. I'll select the photo and scale it up. So in this state, the photo is going to be a bit bigger. Now it's important that this animates up slowly. And I think I'd like to use an ease out um, easing curve so that right when you hover over, you see the animation happen quickly, but then it slows down to a nice effect. And that should take one second, I think. It'd be a kind of a slow animation. Cool, I like how that looks. Now I just need a way to get between the two states. So if you're on the initial state, uh, you should be able to mouse over this to get to the new state. So I'll draw a link. I'm gonna click draw link in the toolbar and drag a link over this entire square, target the new state, and use the mouse over gesture. Okay, now from the new state, I'll draw a link, similar sized link, target the initial state, and use mouse out. All right, now I'm gonna open the preview, and we can test it out. So that works great. That's uh, pretty much already done now. I just need to add that behavior to this other one. And fortunately in Flinto, you can reuse behaviors. So I'll just select this one. And because we've named the photos, the photo layers with the same name, the animation that applied to the photo on the first group is going to automatically apply to the photo layer in this one. So I'll just select the surrounding group, click add behavior and choose that behavior that I created. Now I can go back to the preview. Now they both work and they're interruptible and I was able to reuse them so I didn't have to recreate the animation. So super nice effect. Thanks for the suggestion, Mike. And if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments.